Hello, hi, I'm Patricia McNeely. I'm an illumined Blu-ray twin flame from Chicago. Today I'm going to talk to you about Mercury and I'm going to talk to you about Sacred Union and some of the things that are coming up. And this is um, a very intense time for a lot of people. So the first thing I'd like to say is I hope that quite a few people did get to enjoy the eclipse. Not everyone enjoyed the energy with it, but I want to let you know a few things about that energy. Yes, it was a portal. Yes, it's a portal. And it is a portal that is doing something. It's actually a grand entrance and an exit. So there are doors closing behind you. And what I have to talk about is Mercury, Mercury out of the fire and into love. So this is a retrograde that was actually starting in earthy energy and ending in fiery Leo energy. So July and August was pretty intense for a lot of people. And it's going to be intense again because people are needing to still finish some of their stuff. And that hasn't always been understood that what happens is that you do get doors that open, you get setups, you get energetic promptings, and you need to take actions. So this is distinctly for taking actions. What this mer Mercury retrograde does is that for the people who have been already meeting each other, expecting to be in their physical union, it's like Mercury is holding up all the rest of the traffic, putting certain things on hold, slowing you down in certain ways. It could be business, it could be clients, it could be money, it could be quite a few things while you address or finish some of the things you have. Now, if you've been able to do quite a few things all along, you'll find that this is not quite as intense for you. If you haven't been able to, you'll find that it's still intense. And that's a little bit of difference in what people are experiencing out there. Now, this is along with the Saturn and the Neptune retrogrades, which is to enable your new life. Saturn is the energetic. It is a masculine energy that enables structure. What that means is it enables you to properly set up things that you need to do or finish. It could be a divorce. It could be um, the proper setup of your routine. It's definitely going to be the setup and your new lifestyles and new routines for your daily life because you have a new light body. That's another thing that occurred. Your human chakras are no longer ruling the show. Your angelic chakras are much more prominent and are making themselves known quite intensely for a lot of people. So that has meant that people are feeling a nauseous feeling around their solar plexus, particularly around the gallbladder, liver area, and the stomach, high gastro, nausea, feelings of something that is very similar to heartburn, a shoulder and neck pressure, and a head pressure here. So it might feel like you're being pressed down. It might feel very similar to a hangover. And yet it's not a hangover. Some people might call this, oh, that's the eclipse hangover. This is something very different. These are your new cosmic connections which have been carried along the spine and within you and which the masculine energy has brought in. And so you are also connecting and you are receiving your 5D shields if you haven't already. So if you are a seraphim, and your seraphim that identifies as someone who lived in Atlantis particularly, you might have this going on. If you identify with certain colors, um, those colors would be violet, pink, bluish, blue golden, green, and on and on. Now what those colors represent are the planetary connections that you have had, some of your points of origin. You also are getting all conflict out. So a lot of people might say, why does this take so long? 
why exactly has it taken years and years and years? Well, first of all, you had to be out of karma and out of the old time construct. That ended in 2010. Then you had 2012, which was time to really finish and get yourself dislodged. A lot of things happened for people. A lot of people met their twins. Then from 2013 to 2014, time to get yourself out of your fourth dimensional connections. And again, more people met each other. And the Cardinal Cross of 2014 in April of 2014, so right after the turning of the season in uh, from March to April. This was very intense for a lot of people. This was to bring in all of you from the four corners of the universe. Everything. Then it was time to purge things out. And some of you are still purging. But you are drawing into yourself those authentic connections that are you two. You're also reconnecting yourself with your higher aspects. And there's a lot of you that don't know that you are new. If you're looking at ancient texts or ancient things that people even call new age, it's not new age, it's ancient age. If it's Egyptian, it's ancient. If it's a um, six-sided Merkaba structure, it's ancient. In fact, that is not the structure of your new light body with your twin. There are parts of you that are new. And so this Saturn energy added to Mercury, it's like holding up traffic. It's like saying, hang on, everyone else hang on. We're going to get ourselves situated and get all of our new things in place. You're getting a new lifestyle, new routine, new things, new things you like to eat or ways of eating or things that you have to do to gear up here. Your sexuality is elevating. And that's going to mean things like testosterone production, menstrual cycles. You're not going to be doing things at the same old level as the old paradigm. So this eclipse was to clip off all 3D relationship. And I hear some of you, you might be saying, well, Patricia, my twin is choosing to stay in a relationship. I'm not talking about a physical human relationship only. I am talking about all relationship. All relationships to your 4D lifestyles, all relationship to 3D and even 5D. If you have remembrances of things, you're going to find that those things diminish. You're continuing to collapse timelines and this is important because it is going to enable your new life. Getting the conflict out. That is what goes way far back in history, actually, to origins in the Andromeda galaxy. And yes, conflict, fighting, things that have originated from this, called differences of opinion, battles, war, and even right into people's homes, domestic violence, domestic tiffs, the Cold War, shoving, pushing, sniping, sarcasm, all forms of conflict are getting out. They will get out of your stomach, your back, your root, your eyes, and the heart. Take actions and pace yourself. Some of you need to stay put and pace yourself with this energy. Some of you need to get your butts into gear and get some of your stuff finished. You are getting rid of all past killers and deceptions. So this is another thing that's come up. And during session, I actually do have people that are married to someone who has killed them in another life or has someone in their family who has killed them. And your body will tell you this. Your body will say things and you will feel certain ways around that person. You may even feel love. The reason is you're getting your love back. You're actually getting what was stolen from you back. So you're getting rid of all the killers. And this is right down to those crimes of passion. Heated love triangles. Why? Because Mercury's burning that fire back into love. Those things are going to burn up around you, inside you, burn off of you, and get out for good. 
You have to help it. You have to cooperate with this. You have to participate. You're showing up. You're suiting up. You're participating. And it's time to get busy with your light body because your light body needs you to cooperate with this. Sexual deceptions. What can those be? Being tricked, being trapped, being tricked into getting pregnant, being entrapped by someone's pregnancy, shotgun marriages, arranged marriages, uh, not calling it off even up till the last minute when you know you shouldn't marry someone, when you know deep in your heart that you shouldn't, or your mind is believing that you need another soulmate to get through before your twin. You don't. You don't. You need to gather all parts of you into your body and that's what you're doing some people are still having fears come up and well up and out of their body or saying stuck inside inside the stomach in the adrenal glands you're having adrenal overloads this will also be misunderstandings contracts that could be money that's owed to people you might have to decide to cut some things loose cut your losses forgiveness of debt in order to divorce yourself from any karmic past you have to feel this if you can't discern it ask me for a session I will help you with some of these things divorces how the divorce is done because it's going to be different you're not living in karma you can't be retaliatory you cannot be out for blood that energetic is still conf conflict and it's leaving you you will find that it's actually not possible but then how do you do it it's particularly if you have people around you that say "Ooh, get everything you can and you have 20 opinions directed at your head about what you should or should not do how do you get through that custody custody of children now here is the next thing your health addressing current and future health issues you can't ignore things anymore you can't sweep it under a rug you can't hide from it if you know you have a health issue if you know you need maintenance if you know that you haven't had a male checkup or a female checkup for a long time start getting that done address your heart and address your health address the health of your human body to the best of your ability so if you're in another country you may have socialized medicine and if you're in the United States you may be subject to whatever is available to you either through work or through your uh, state government if you're considering a divorce you still cannot go without health care so you should be in terms of this mercury energy because mercury will go direct streamlining yourself in every way that you possibly can you are needing to address your health for your angelic and subtle bodies that will be your angelic chakras because yes the angelic body is now of utmost importance doesn't diminish your human body it's just that your human body that's like your base that's like your tank but you're getting rid of all your base stuff your etheric body needs pulling out of the old paradigm so just because the old paradigm has been clipped off doesn't mean that you don't pull it you have to pull your etheric body out of the old paradigm and it's gonna feel depressing so people have had feelings like suicide depression come up and yes I understand that some people do kill themselves and that's unfortunate because they may not know that some things are being worked through and yet it will seem very futile there's another thing too with this energy during mercury exes people you've known there might be people coming out of the woodwork and I encourage you ask for whatever belongs back to you I have a little um, funny here for you and that is who knows what a retrosexual is that's when you reach out or hook up with an ex and blame it on mercury so a lot of people are finding their exes yes who's a retrosexual please don't be a retrosexual just say no 
Might be easier said than done if you haven't had some touch in a while, but resist. A lot of you are at the finish line here. And I want to let you know that how your etheric body goes, there's several connection points and chakras that you have. You cannot remove your chakras. You're removing other stuff. I know that there's places out there that talk about chakra removal. No such thing. Your wheels are spinning with each other at a higher rate and you want to divest yourself of all unusable things. People, their connections, their crap. And to help you with this, I have uh, two webinars. One is Twin Flames New Beginnings, How the Runner Returns, and also Catching Your Spirit Body. This is particularly true of people who sense their twin around and you're not going to be getting guidance from the spirit body or the psyche. You will get some information. It's not going to be usable for you. How do you catch your spirit body, that of you and your twin, and seal the gates of the heart? Because that's the other piece of it. And for people who might you know, know about this, sealing yourself in is important. Some of you might know, some of you might not know. For some of you, this might be very new information and you're finding out why does it seem like, you know, some people call it, you know, God or they'll ask God, God, why are you doing this to my life? God, what's up? What gives with this? They're not exactly blaming God. They're just asking and they don't know. Why when I met this person did my life get turned upside down? Or you know, there's something happening for me. I'm feeling this acceleration. I'm feeling like I need to do something. I need to escape. I need to exit. But I don't know what. Okay. So since the June solstice, this was the time for you to disentangle yourself from all of your quantum entanglements. This means on multiple dimensional levels, including here on Earth. And you were able to not only conclude your karma but actually get rid of it a lot more easily now. What does this mean for your children? This means that also your children will be concluding their karma. This is something I also talk about in sessions and talk about in my webinars and during reading sessions and my group sessions that I call Blue Infusion, which I'll have another couple of them coming up. I'm having one Friday night, this coming Friday and the links will be down below in this section. Now, some of the messages for you are that this has a lot to do with your cosmic connections. I want to just open your eyes to something. A lot of people do talk about physical union and physical union is the direction of this and how it's going and there are people together. So please don't doubt that people are together. They are. However, many people are still getting together. Many people are part of subsequent waves because there will be new waves. The key time is going to be October into November. Finish getting yourself ready and learn about your body. I have detailed information that is twin flame specific. And that is another thing. If you're seeking things or you're getting you know, something that might give you an answer. You are not getting twin flame specifics frequently. In fact, you know, there's a sort of an odd mix out there. There's psychics that will be able to tell you, oh, that person is your twin flame. There's psychics who are themselves twin flames and will not say they won't, they don't buy it. They don't buy it. Or people will flavor things with their own experience. Or some people just don't know because they haven't had the experience yet. I not only have had the experience, I've been doing this for a while. I've done workshops. I have done body work on people. It is how I know how to do things. I am also a Blu-ray, which that means that I am from these origins. I'm from Atlantis. I kind of know who goes together. I can feel things. I feel things about the body. And I've also formatted things that to let you know how new the body is, why you're having things and what to do, how to get your channels opened, 
so that you're able to just flow into each other because when you do come together that is going to be the key is merging yourselves together and yes there have been people who are front runners and it's taken them sometimes weeks and years to do this you're out of time on that you don't have that much time you will have what I call hibernation time with each other you will have the kissing time you will have times where you want to shut the world out so please stop worrying about the world and having your life here your 3d paradigm life is shutting down and the connections have been loosened and are dislodging from you even as we speak and whatever doesn't is going to be shoved back down that hole back down where it belongs it's going to you're going to have to push it away so some of the other messages I got I got this this is from the city of Columbus Ohio their um, museum there cosmic summer May 27th to September 4th and the reason this was significant for me it was like whoa total solar eclipse cosmic your cosmic level going back home to the cosmos that is what you are really doing is you are being enabled with your twin to go back home to the fifth dimension and your twin is not going to be able to do it without you and nor will you be but it's being done in such a way where the, as you purge out everything that you're not taking with you it feels more and more natural so the things that have been said to you things like well I can just be your friend yes your twin he has to be your best friend in the entire universe that is the foundation you're standing on you're not standing on a foundation based on all other relationships this is how I behave with men this is how I behave with my dad with my brothers this is how I manipulate men or this is how I behave with women or that's how I behave with the women at the office then the women at the bar I behave this way and then the women here and then with my twin it's this no no more relationship stuff there is no relationship with your twin there is a deep passion and without that strong foundation and that foundation is within you it is the parts of your body it is where your cosmic connections are elevating to in your body which I do talk about in my next webinar and things are moving very swiftly and very rapidly now the other news that you may not want to hear is that this um, eclipse if people have turned their back on it you're gonna stay put for a while you're going to feel a lull in the energies you're gonna feel a low energy and you're going to feel as though nothing happened and yet for the people where it is happening you're going to really have a wonderful time and if you're a blu-ray it's finally time to get the heck out of here it really is and you will be enabled to do this and that might sound like people are being singled out but as I've said many times this is not a mass ascension in fact everyone has been ascended to a certain level now it is time to focus on your light body so that you can actually get out of here so my next webinar is actually going to talk about the lungs the wings and the flying and if you haven't you have actually you just don't think you have these are some of the beliefs around the head you think you haven't because you're not sure and you can't recall the memories of it your memories have been placed into the Akashic records and I just want to answer another question do you want to remember well no you're gonna remember the good stuff with each other the good lives the good memories you do not want to remember cataclysmic events traumatic events wars battles and these are the things that actually have been removed by the blu-rays not from this level although there's quite a few blu-rays who have done grid work to remove the morphic resonances of what remains here yes you're welcome 
And yes, thank you for holding steady and being still while a lot of this gets done. The conflict that has existed is not existing in your brand new light body. You'll find it impossible to hold an argument with each other. You just won't. You'll actually wind up giggling. And so on a just a personal note here about the eclipse. I did go see the eclipse. It was downstate Illinois and it was beautiful. It was awesome. It was epic. I wish for everyone in seven years to be able to see the next one if you can. Again, it's going to be in North America. And how many, what are the odds of this? It's going to travel through some of the same cities as the one that just happened. Now, as it happened, I was in the full totality. I was actually in a place that had no cloud cover. So, you know, I was sort of on pins and needles like everyone was and wondering, would we see it? Would there be cloud cover? There was actually a storm, The uh, not the night before, but the night before the night before. There was a, a huge storm and things were clouded over. The morning of, it was beautiful blue skies with just a little bit of hazy clouds, but nothing to obstruct the sun. And it was gorgeous. It was just seeing the marriage of the masculine, the feminine, the sun and the moon, the wedding ring around, which is the corona or the crown. Beautiful spectacle of a lifetime. And, you know, people had different experiences of it. Not everyone was able to, but it was very moving. I, I admit it made me cry. It was very emotional. And I want to see it again. But, you know, interestingly, my guidance from my higher self kept saying to me, you're going to see this and so much more when you're out of body. And I do have recollections of it. I do have recollections of other planets. I don't share it a lot because not everyone has these recollections. And this is very personal. This is about your love. This is about you and your twin. It's not about becoming astronomers, although if that's your interest, go for it. It's not about, it's about you two being able to throw away the past and being able to be pure again and new without taint, without toxin, without memories, with brand new relationships where everything revolves and orbits around you two and not the other way around. How sweet will that be? How will it be with your twin being the best possible divine masculine or divine feminine angelic twin flame that they can be? Not only that, touch you in places where you have not been touched in lifetimes. That's what you're here for. You're here to go home. Your home is in each other. It's been tucked in. It needs to be fully brought in. It's been connected to you. It needs to be fully brought in. And that is what I teach. I teach about the light body and about 5D relationship and how to do some of this. So I am a teacher of the new. And yes, I have lived here before and I've taught ancient stuff. I have memories of that too. So I've had to almost unlearn some things and start from scratch. And many of you have more than seven chakras open. Many of you have reasons why would you meet a person and they seem to just delve right back into 3D. I guarantee you it is not really to hurt you even though it hurts. It is to finish some things and that's what this energy is about. It is for finishing. Please don't put up the walls. Please don't do an about face and you know please don't be a Please don't be a retrosexual. <laughs> Nobody wants to go backwards. Nobody, nobody, nobody wants to go backwards in time. There's been a lot of pain and stuff that has happened. And there's been um, people.
people that have killed you. There are people that have destroyed your civilization. There are people whose drama has destroyed your entire world. Okay, And you could even think of something recent, like the story of the Trojan War, the face that launched a thousand ships, whose jealousy started all that drama. That is the kind of thing that is coming out in spades. And don't give in to it. Don't take the bait. Okay? You're getting all the conflict out. Now, if you want help with your union, if you have questions, if you want to check in, if you feel that some things are happening but you're not quite sure, reach out to me for a session. If your stomach, your back, your root, your eyes, your heart, and you know all of this area here, tension, heartache, if you need help with that, that's what I do. I am very body specific, I am twin flame specific, and I do include some support material. That is something different that I do that I don't think a lot of people do. And you're worth it. You're worth it. So I hope you have a wonderful week. Please know that, yes, Mercury is going direct. There are still some energies here at work. And yes, October, November, huge. But not for everyone. That's, sorry, that's the news everyone doesn't want to hear. People want to know, is it me, is it me, is it me, is it me? A lot of people who it is you, you know. It's still incumbent on you to get your body ready. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you like these messages. Subscribe. You'll get them direct. Also, my website, www.twinflamesmerch.com. That is the best place to reach me. My email address is on there. There's information in the text below. Check it out. These links will be there. And it is something to help you because how the runner returns does rely on you. This is not a one-way street where you have to roll over and play dead. There are things you can do. So I like to empower people. Thank you so much. Please have a wonderful week. And please don't worry about a thing. Okay? Bye now.